Hey guys, so in today's video I am going to be talking about the book The Children of God Forgot by James Masterton and this book I got in a box, um, a book box called Abominable Book Club which I review here every month on my channel and I've literally just opened this month's box which I've just filmed and decided to uh, do some reviews of some books as well so yeah this is the one I'm going to be reviewing today and this book I was really excited when I saw it in the box because uh, last year we got a book written by him called The House of a Hundred Whispers this book here it's the one in my um like thumbnail for my channel and I really really loved it I thought it was a really unique uh, original horror story which I have a full book review on that book uh, on my channel if you want to search for it and so yeah when I saw this author pop up again in this book box I was really really happy because I was like oh I really enjoyed that book and I thought his writing was really interesting so I'd love to read more by him and uh, yeah we got another book by him so yeah I think he's written quite a lot of horror and this one um, was just as weird and unique <laughs> as the first one I read by him so this one, um, it, it's kind of like a detective thriller slash gory slash like horror slash paranormally slash witchy. <laughs> it's like a little bit of everything. Um, I feel like he's, well I've only read two of his books but the two books I've read by him have been really unique stories. So this one, when you read the back, it kind of talks about these weird creatures down living in the London sewers. So the young woman is rushed to hospital with stabbing pains in her stomach. Chief sur uh, the chief surgeon delivers a living child with the face of an angel and the body of a tentacled monster. And then it says, Engineer Gemma is plunged into darkness the in the tunnels beneath London. Before she escapes, a strange green light illuminates a cluster of ghostly figures. Gemma is certain that they are children. And then it goes on to DC uh, Jerry and DC Jamil uh, of Tooting Police are investigating, uh, have investigated the occult before, um, but nowhere as horrible as the city sewers. Uh, down there it's dark where the dead come to life and witchcraft is the only force strong enough to save them so yeah it very much has um yeah like loads of different elements in this book when it comes to the storyline of the police officers the investigators it very much has the feel of the x-files where they these two police officers um are kind of the officers you the police force goes to when they have like really weird cases that they don't know what to do with and seem to be of a paranormal nature they go to these two and they solve the crimes so i'm wondering if he has other books with these two detectives in where they solve other paranormal crimes around london um, I would like to read them, I think that'd be really good. Um, and yeah, and then it follows these really weird, um, deformed children basically that are living in the London sewers and they're coming up and some of the very young one, like fetus ones, are um, attacking women. And there are some moments in this book where it's kind of gross, like it's one of those books where you read it and you really want to find out what's going on in the storyline and you really want to continue the book but you have to like have periods of time where you just set it down for a minute just because it's so like oh especially as a woman there are some scenes in this so I'm like mm. <laughs> that was like the feeling of that happening would be just so disturbing and it's so gross um because yeah it's uh it's very graphic in its detail so it's a bit gory i would say it's a bit like a gory horror um which i don't mind from time to time um i haven't read i don't read much of that so yeah it did kind of gross me out a little bit uh, but not in a way that i wouldn't continue reading because i wanted to know what happened in the storyline um it really i would say it's quite a fast-paced book but it really leaves like the ending to the ending like literally it was getting closer and closer to the ending and i was like oh my god they haven't solved anything 
like what the hell it's getting closer and closer and closer and it was literally like the last very very few pages where you know it kind of wraps up um but yeah i was kind of like okay are they actually going to be able to solve this one like what the hell is happening are they able are they going to be able to stop what is happening or you know it's kind of one of those books and yeah it was really really good um i will say the male police officer in this he can come across as a bit um misogynistic and some of the like language they use it can come across as um I don't want to say racist but he's not like a particularly likeable guy in this at times there are some things you where he says and you're like oh um the reviews I looked this on I looked this up on Goodread after I finished reading it and majority of the reviews were you know five four star really positive but the ones that didn't like this book really didn't like the language that the police officer used and I agree with that like it did come across as racist um you know towards Pakistani people I feel at times um but I feel like I'm not sure whether that was the author putting his thoughts into that or he made the character like that because you're not really s the character kind of came off as a questionable character does that make sense like I don't feel like you're supposed to like him so and I'm okay with reading books where I don't like every single character in the book I'm okay with disliking some characters I feel like authors do that on purpose sometimes because I mean that's like real life you don't like everybody in real life you're going to meet people where you don't agree with them politically or religiously or you know you don't agree with them that. that's just life that's just life some people you agree with some people you don't and um I feel like he's kind of one of those characters where he's a bit like oh he says and does things and you're like mm, okay you're one of them who's uh, a little bit misogynistic and a little bit not politically correct kind of people you know um but that didn't like ruin the story for me because like i said i don't mind reading characters that i don't like because i feel like it's more realistic like i said there are people in life you like and some you don't you're not going to like everybody all the time so um and another th criticism for this book were it at times you're not sure whether this book is written to be um like anti-abortion because it's fetuses basically living in the sewers and you find this out at the very very beginning of the book um this isn't like a, i wouldn't consider this a spoiler um so yeah it's fetuses that women have aborted for whatever reason and i feel like that could be a little bit triggering for some people um and some people might not like that about this book and i completely understand that um, I kind of saw it just more as a horror aspect, a like paranormally thing. I don't really think, especially as you get later on in the book, it doesn't really sway one way or the other, pro or against, you know, abortions. Um, in my opinion, like people are going to have other opinions. Like I said, the majority of people who read this liked this. I just took it as a creepy paranormal horror book with a bit of witchcraft in there, a bit of not knowing what the hell's going on in there, a bit of gore and um yeah i thought it was a very original concept i've never read anything like this before and it did kind of make you think a little bit i mean in terms of like the like abortion either way whether you think this book is anti-abortion or not i actually didn't really think about it until afterwards and i read some of the goodreads reviews and i was like oh yeah i guess it could be taken that way um i just kind of took it as part of the story so let me know if you've read this and you feel differently about it um i just kind of enjoyed it for what it was like a gory horror novel and i really enjoyed it i really like his ideas i think he writes pretty unique horror um so again i would still love to continue to read more of what he's written and yeah i really enjoyed it but if you've read this then let me know your thoughts down below or if you're interested in reading this or from some of the things I've said, has it put you off reading this? Um, I would be really interested to hear about that. I would probably give this book a solid 
four out of five to be honest uh, i think i gave the last one house uh, the house of 100 whispers i think i gave that a five out of five um i probably would just take one point off just because there are things that could be triggering triggering for people in this book um as you kind of went in not knowing anything about this book and not knowing what it was about um it might make you feel a bit like oh when you read some of the subject matter in it but for me i enjoyed it as a good creepy horror so yeah let me know your thoughts down below um overall i really liked i thought it was gross in parts it was very entertaining um the ending i was a bit like hmm, did i like that ending or did i not like that ending i'm not sure it's kind of one one of those books you kind of think about a little bit afterwards um yeah overall i really liked and i will continue to uh, read books from this author so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say and until next time as always thank you for watching uh bye guys